Yes, in this video, we are going to see about the binary search tree in order traversal. So here, um, this is the binary search tree. This will have the tree property, binary tree property, which is nothing but each node will consist of 0, 1 or 2 node at most, not more than 2. So if you say this, here it, this is a node, it has no child, that is it has no further nodes, which we called it a child. So this is a 0 children. Whereas if you take this node, it has two children. This children, this is a left children and this is the right children. Same way here, it, this has two children. This children, the left and right, two children are there. And this has zero children. So a binary tree, a binary search tree will hold the properties of binary tree. And what is the difference between a binary tree and binary search tree? The main difference is how you store the data in the information field. A, a node in a tree consists of three fields. The first field will be the address of the left tree, that is left node. And in the middle, it will have the data information which we are going to store. And the third field will consist of the address of the right subtree or right node. Or you can say it's a right child. So if you see this here, 200, this is the memory location. The, this, is, this node is created at the memory location 100. And this we call it as root. And these are all the children. This is the left children and this is the right children. Here in this, how where you can find its uh, uh, left children in the memory location 200. Now this is the memory location where we store again left address, right address child, uh, address of the right child. And then in the middle, the data. And same way you can go through all the uh, nodes. Here, how it is a binary search tree is, the parent will have a value in such a way that it has a greater value than its left tree and lesser value than its right tree, right child. So if you see that 10 is greater than this, field. this is the left child, whereas this is lesser than this right child value. Same way, if you take this as a parent, this is a parent. And here, yeah, this value is greater than its left child and lesser than its right child. Same way here also. So, this is what our binary search tree. So, the rule is the parent node must have a value lesser than left child and greater than right child. So that is why this is called binary search tree. So, now, we will uh, when you want to visit the node and print the values which are in the data field, information field, then you have to follow three orders. One is the in-order travel, uh, pre-order and post-order. So what is an in-order? In in-order, first you will be printing the left child and then it's the left information in the left child, then the parent node and then the right. This is said to be in order traversal. Whereas, if you take uh, what is uh, pre order, the next order is pre order. So, that you'll be printing the parent node, the information the parent node first, and then the left child, and then the right child. This is said to be pre order. Just like prefix, uh, prefix, and postfix expression evaluation. Then, the next one is post order, where you will be printing first left child, right child, then finally the parent information, the parent node. And this is said to be post order. So in these are the three ways through which you can traverse the tree. Now, in this, we will be seeing the how to uh, visit the tree using in order, the two using recursion. So when you say recursion, not only in recursion, any program execution which involves functions, they will be using the memory stack. So, in recursion, the memory stack will be heavily used. Now, we are going to see how it is used. Initially, uh, this is the algorithm for in order. So, in order, you will call with the root. From main program, you will pass the root. And that will be 
so after passing this will be assigned the value uh, pointer temporary so because we don't move the root if we weave the root itself we will lose the starting node that is root node so we assign the value temp to the root node and then we move using the temp only we traverse the whole tree the root will be the same itself but while passing from the main program we pass the data value root which is nothing but 100 memory location so always you start from root node from root only you start your search and then you pass through all the nodes now initially if temp is equal to null first temp is now after execution of this statement the temp uh, Yes. Now let us take this as a temp. Now temp is pointing this. Okay. So uh, so temp is pointing this after this uh, when you call it from the main program. Ro you call with the value root. So here we assign the value temp to the root. So here temp is now pointing. Now hundred. So how you will be? It will be now. I'll explain it in a memory stack. So when it calls immediately, the function calls. It will be put in the uh, pushed into the stack. So uh, I have written it as i for want of space. So I have written it as i. I is simple for in order. So i hundred. This value will be pushed. This this is the function call in order of hundred. That is the memory location. Now it checks whether it is equal to null. If so, it returns. Then the popping of the uh, topmost value from the stack and the execution starts. But here, temp is not equal to null. So the next statement is executed in order temp left, which is nothing but in order. Already it is hundred. What is its left? This is nothing but two hundred. That is here. So that will be pushed into the stack. That function call will be pushed into the stack. Then again, this. Is a recursive in order uh, 200 means here again it calls so this will not go to the statement here it calls again so here in order uh, temp is not equal to null so the next statement is executed temp left which is nothing but 250 this is the memory location so that value is also that function call is also pushed into the stack then again now here uh, temp left this is 250 already called its temp left is null so that will be passed here since it is equal to null return so that value is actually not pushed into the stack so when it comes to i20 here it becomes uh, when you call this temp is equal to null so what happens return so the return what it will do it started propping the top of the stack and start executing now this value is popped now this value will be taken and it will be start executing this i20 so what is the next statement data data will be printed so data of 250 is data of 250 is 4 so that value is printed now so now it prints the value 4 then for this uh, after printing now it comes and execute this statement in order of temp write what is the temp write of this it is again and null so what happens here it goes and it is equal to uh, return so now this is over so now what happens uh, it pops the value which is present in the topmost element which is nothing but now 200 this is over i20 execution is over so let me keep it here somewhere now it will take this value uh, that is uh, after this return the topmost element this will be taken now it's left already it is over so it executes it that is it prints the value in the data so what is that value 6 so now the value 6 is printed then what happens here it goes temp right so now it is 300 so this function call will be done so what happens this function will be uh, pushed into the stack so i of it is 300 so here this function call will be done now 
uh, it goes here. Now what happens? It is not equal to null. Now it is pointing this. It is not equal to null. So what happened? Temp left. So what is this? This is the temp. Now temp is pointing this. Temp left is null. So what happens? It comes here. Now what happens? It is equal to null. So it returns, which is nothing but topmost element. This will be popped. Now the value in that data, the data field is after this statement will be executed and it, this will be printed. What is that value? It is nothing but 8. So now it is printed. Now the next statement is executed. Temp is, this is the temp at this point. The one which is popped. So that is what. So here it goes to the right. Now it goes here in order. Temp right. This is nothing but the null value. Here it is equal to 0. So it is a null. So what happens? Return. So what is it? It which is in the topmost element. That is in the, now stack is pointing here. Top. Now this will be popped. So now this will be popped and then what happened? This statement is executed. Already temp left we have search. So that will not be done. Now temp data which is nothing but your 10. So that will be printed now. And then what is the next statement? It is temp right. It is nothing but 150. Now that value is pushed. Let me take this uh, same value and then edit. So what is the value pushed now? It is nothing but 150. Okay. So now 150 is pushed. Now again it goes and exudes. So now it is temp is pointing the this. It is not equal to null. So what happens? In order temp left. Now move to this left. It is nothing but 250. So this will be pushed. Now let me edit. So here we make, uh, let me make the changes first. This to be the left memory address. Okay. So now uh, initially uh, after this uh, 10, it uh, points to that uh, temporary right. And uh, when it points, it's not equal to null. That will be called with that. Uh, it will be pushed. 150 is pushed. Then uh, here it checks not equal to null. So temporary left, which is nothing but 350. That is pushed into the stack. And now again it will be called so temporary rep now here it comes uh, so 350 here it is now it goes to its left temp left where it is null so what happened return so when it returns this value will be popped and then the next statement is executed which is nothing but the data of this 350 which is 50 so that value will be printed so now it prints 50 and then now this statement will be executed, which is nothing but temp right. So temp right is again null. So what happens? Return. So now it pops this statement. When there is a return, it pops this statement. Now what is this? Uh, now this statement is actually it is not equal to null. So already temp left, it is over. So now the data, this comes to the next statement, which is nothing but data. It will be printed. So here prints 18. Okay, then temperate. The next statement is temperate, which is nothing but 400. So now it pushes the uh, 400 inside. So here, let me change this. 400. So that will be pushed into the memory stack. Then uh, here, it, this that value takes it is not equal to null. So now here it moves temporary left here. So here and then it calls. Now it is equal to null and so what happens return so now this value will be popped and then now the this statement will be executed which is nothing but data temp data so now it prints the value which is print present this is nothing but 21 now this value is printed then this statement is executed temporary this is null so now again with that value it goes there it is equal to null return so whenever there is a return now it checks it is an empty stack so over so now, if you see that uh, execution, that is in order printing. Uh, so what you have to do is you have to move towards left. So when you move towards uh, left here, uh, first uh, you have to move extreme left. And then this left will be first printed. And then what happens? 
you have to move to a parents parent this parent is six so that we are printing then you move towards its right it is nothing but eight that we have to print and then you move this is a left tree if this parent is this so now it comes so all the left tree of this parent has been printed now the parent is printed now you are moving towards its right here this is the parent so you move towards its left because first left has to be printed so we print the value 15 then we move towards its parent which is nothing but 18 that is printed now then finally 21 this is the explanation theoretical explanation here we have seen uh, program execution so these are both are same so this is how a um, binary search in order traversal will be done using the recursion